So, you want to improve your DR rating and enter higher level races, race against better drivers? Then watch this video and we'll help you do just that. So, your driver rating is not brilliant, but you want to race against better class drivers in higher level races. Well, that's quite achievable. And it's not just a matter of driving faster. In fact, it may be easier than you think. Firstly, let's take a quick look at what DR or driver rating is. Now, as GT say here, a driver rating is an indicator of a driver's speed. Well, that's not strictly true. You can be the fastest guy on the track with you know, a great qualifying time, but if you're not finishing races, you're not going to get or improve your driver rating. Where they say your performance within a race will affect your driver rating is probably a more accurate description of what dr driver rating is. It's an indication of your overall performance within a race. And always remember that your DR rating can never be higher than your SR rating. So drive clean. If you've got an SR rating of D, your DR ratings never be able to get higher. And just before we get into the technical bit, if I could ask if you guys would smash those like and subscribe buttons, it would really help the channel and I would really, really appreciate it. So let's look at exactly how we improve that DR rating. You may be surprised to learn that you don't have to win races. In fact, you don't even have to come on the podium. Yes, of course, winning a race would be a lot better than coming last, but a win is not essential. And the best way to do that is work on the 50% rule. If there are 16 people in your race, you want to finish in the top eight. If there are 14 in your race, you want to finish in the top seven. And by finishing that top half of people, it will have a positive effect and therefore raise your DR rating. Like in this screenshot, for example, there are 13 people in the race. I finished in fifth position in the top half and therefore that has a positive effect and that has raised my DR rating. Now, it does get a little bit more technical than that and that's when people DNF or do not finish a race. Luckily, this screenshot helps explain that quite nicely. As you can see, 12 people started the race, but two people DNF'd, did not finish. And so we have to discount those two drivers. And then, as you can see by the little checkered flag markings on the left, there are 10 people that finish the race. And that is the 10 people that we base the 50% rule on. And so, with 10 people finishing the race, and me having to finish in the top half or the top 50%, as you can see I did, I finished fifth, and was only just there, but that still means I got an increase in my DR rating. And as we just mentioned DNFs, now seems like a good time to go into them in a little more detail. Some people seem to think that quitting or leaving during a race will allow them to do so without any form of penalty. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Leaving during a race is, will give you one of the harshest and biggest deductions to your DR rating. It's almost as if you were coming absolutely last in the race. And it doesn't matter whether you're the first, the second or the third person to DNF, your DR will take a massive hit negatively. You're much better off staying till the end of the race. Even if you don't achieve getting in the top 50%, it's better to come in the bottom half than it is to DNF. And if you stay in the race, you get more race experience. So in some respects, it's still a win-win. So let's just recap on what we've learned. Number one. Qualify as high as you can. The higher you qualify, the better chance you're going to have of finishing higher in the race. Number two, finish in the top 50%. If you're in the top 50%, you're going to get an improvement on your DR rating. Number three, drive clean, have a good SR. Remember, your DR can never be higher than your SR. So, have a good SR rating, and that gives you plenty of chance to improve your DR rating. And lastly, do not leave a race. If you DNF, it's just as bad as coming glass place and your DR rating is going to take the biggest deduction possible. And that concludes our little tutorial. So just follow those four rules and you'll soon find yourself competing in better category races. Thank you for watching. Please remember to hit those like and subscribe buttons and I will see you in the next video.